Good morning, Mariners. Uh, I am Peter Francis Shelley. I am the director of faith formation here at Moreau Catholic High School. Uh, this is part of a presentation that I gave to our board of trustees uh, in honor of the 175th year of Holy Cross education around the world. And that is part of my job uh, here at Moreau is to spread the mission and philosophy of Basil Moreau and Holy Cross uh, to our community. So here we go. As you know, this is the 175th year of Holy Cross education. It began uh, in 1836 um, and, of course, began with the great man, Blessed Basil Moreau. We see here a nice timeline, uh, beginning with Basil Moreau going all the way up to the present time here at Moreau Catholic. Um, the beginning of the education of Holy Cross obviously begins with Basil Moreau and begins with this simple quote. I intend to establish a boarding school. These are the words of Father Moreau, which he sent uh, in a letter to his fellow brothers on November 8, 1835. This was but a few months after he had become the superior of the brothers of St. Joseph. So at the time that Basil Moreau had gathered a few priests together, he also then became the superior of the brothers of St. Joseph, who were led by Father Jacques Dujarier. And at the time, they were renowned as being great educators and teachers. So Moreau, in his part of his vision for Holy Cross, or in his mind, began to think, we need to have a school in order for the brothers and priests to work at, which culminated within a year in November 1836, in his hometown of Le Mans, France, with the institution de Notre Dame Saint Saint Croix, which was the very first Holy Cross High School. Which here is a picture of the finished product. This is the institute uh, finished about 1856. So this was not what it originally look, looked like in 1836 but this is what the finished product uh, after about 20 years. As you know, uh, the early history of the school, um, it was first opened as a boarding school for orphans in the local neighborhood. And very quickly, um, within a year, the elementary school opened. Uh, within two years, a secondary school opened. And at the same time, the history of Holy Cross was also expanding. As in 1841, the Marianite sisters came aboard, uh, completing the trinity of Holy Cross, priests, brothers, and sisters. At the same time, as all of this was going on, uh, Father Moreau was sending priests and brothers and sisters throughout the world, spreading the good news of the gospel uh, through the particular uh, charisms of Holy Cross. And in 1842, uh, a priest and eight brothers arrived here on the shores of America and situated themselves in a small town in South Bend, Indiana, which is the beginning of the great University of Notre Dame. At the same time that all of this intrigue was going on surrounding the school and the building of the school, uh, Moreau uh, had to play many, many roles, not only for his brothers and the priests and the sisters, but also in the local neighborhood. Um, building a school uh, is, for some, a lifelong mission. And for Moreau, uh, he had to work many angles. And so, in effect, he was very much like a politician. Um, there was a lot of tension. There was a lot of argument. There was a lot of disagreement about whether or not this school should actually be built. Um, people in the neighborhood um, didn't want a new school. So Moreau had to play uh, the politician in terms of making sure that the bishop was on board, that the school board was on board, um, that the local parents were on board. Um, and he was very, very adept at making sure he got the right people um, on his side in order for the school to flourish. So one of the great things also that Moreau um, thought about in terms of helping the school um, 
be known in the neighborhood. He had the priests and brothers actually live in the neighborhood right next to the school. So the priests and brothers uh, became well known in the community, well known in the local neighborhood, um, which helped uh, the reputation of the school. Uh, very quickly, uh, Father Moreau saw the fruits of his labor. Um, in 1849, uh, the Institute was fully accredited uh, by the government. Um, in 1851, Moreau actually secured teaching rights for all private institutions in France, and he was already recognized uh, for his educational innovation and excellent, excellence. And uh, right from the start, uh, many of his alumni began uh, attaining high-ranking positions in the French government, which of course helped uh, build the reputation of the school. Um, as with any uh, school or institution, enrollment is always an issue, and uh, Basil Moreau had to tackle that as well. The school started out with 72 students um, in 1838, and by 1868, the enrollment had climbed to 200, and by the turn of the century, it climbed all the way to 500, uh, which was very, very um, pleasing. In terms of talking about Moreau's theology or the sort of cornerstones of what makes uh, a Holy Cross institution Holy Cross, Moreau had four basic foundational philosophies, all centered, of course, uh, on his Catholic faith. The first one is conformity to Christ, that Christ is our model. Second is trust in divine providence, that God's will uh, needed to be trusted for all things. The third thing is the unity of the family, personified in the priests, brothers, and sisters, that as a unit, as a family, uh, they were a lot stronger than in their separate parts. And the last part is uh, Ave Crux Spes Unica, which is Latin for the cross, our only hope. This is the motto for Holy Cross and is sort of the foundational point for all of Moreau's theology and philosophy that indeed the cross is our only hope. So these four foundational philosophies of, of Moreau and Holy Cross are still alive here today at Moreau Catholic. We have sort of updated and translated them into our own language, and they in fact have become the four Holy Cross themes uh, of our school, what we like to call expressions of our spirit. And so bringing hope, building respect, being family and educating hearts and minds is our way of incorporating the four foundational themes of Basil Moreau. So, out of those four foundational philosophies of Basil Moreau, he drew upon them for his educational philosophy. Uh, in 1856, he wrote uh, his most famous book, Christian Pedagogy, uh, which is basically his philosophy uh, on how to educate uh, children. And one of my favorite quotes uh, about Basil Moreau, which for me encapsulates his teaching philosophy, is that education is the art of bringing young people to completeness. Um, now this sort of journey to completeness um, has a lot of uh, levels and themes to it, uh, many of them that we've already discussed, but some of the, the important points that I want to stress are that for Basil Moreau, he had a profound belief in youth. Uh, he obviously understood uh, family spirit. He believed in education of the whole child, which meant the heart and the mind. Moreau was all about relationships, um, and he was also about a progressive curriculum. For instance, uh, in the Institute, uh, Basil Moreau said that students should learn about science, which for a religious institution at that point was a pretty radical idea. He also believed in the arts, and right from the beginning, uh, he believed that the Institute should have a band, which at the time was a radical idea as well. So he was a firm believer uh, in a progressive curriculum, which of course uh, has continued to this day. One of the great Quotes of Moreau, which I think epitomizes the 175 years of Holy Cross education, is that for Moreau, his vision, he believed that Holy Cross 
would grow like a mighty tree and constantly shoot forth new limbs and new branches, which will be nourished by the same sap and endowed with the same life. Which, of course, brings us to this great institution, born out of the institution of Saint Croix, and that is Moreau Catholic High School. The new limbs and new branches that began here at Moreau Catholic started on April 4th, 1965. On that date, a hundred boys took the entrance exam right across the parking lot in St. Clement School, took the entrance exam for this brand new school called Moreau High School. And when they were done, the boys walked over to this present spot which at that point was nothing but uh, uh, a field of olive trees. And here we have uh, an amazing picture of the very first um, shovel beginning the construction of Moreau Catholic High School. Uh, we have Bishop Floyd Begin, who was then the current bishop of the Oakland Diocese. And we have the very first principal standing next to him, Brother Fisher Iwasco. And you can see the boys behind them who were just taking their entrance exam, obviously with high hopes of attending this brand new school. The history of Moreau actually didn't begin actually on this site. The very first year of Moreau's existence, uh, the students actually took classes over at St. Bede uh, in Hayward. There were 103 students who began that school year in September of 1965. Um, one of the most fascinating things about the beginning of Moreau Catholic, and perhaps siding on the side of fate and destiny, at the same time that the school uh, was beginning, at the same time in Rome, uh, Vatican II, the most seminal and important religious event of the 20th century was going on. So the very spirit of Vatican II, I believe, was present here at the beginning of Moreau Catholic. And it has direct uh, consequences uh, for us here at Moreau Catholic for on October 28th, 1965. So this is but two months after the school has actually begun. There was a document um, that basically said, and I quote, it is to the church's advantage that each institution has its own proper character and function. Therefore, the spirit and aims of each founder should be faithfully acknowledged and maintained, as indeed should each institute sound traditions, for all of these constitute an institute's heritage. What the Vatican II was basically saying in this document was is that all of the religious orders of the world needed to go back to their founders and re-examine what makes them particularly what they are. So this is exactly what the Holy Cross priests, brothers, and sisters did. They went back to their founder, in our case, Basil Moreau, and began re-examining his life, his teachings, and his writings. And we here at Moreau Catholic bear the fruit of all of that re-examination by the members of Holy Cross. For it is out of that spirit of Vatican II and the return to the sources um, that the works of Basil Moreau began to be re-examined and actually his writings and teachings and letters, uh, which up until then had been only in French, for us, began to be translated into English. For example, his Christian pedagogy uh, was not translated in English until the mid-1980s. So we saw this great renaissance of Holy Cross uh, began in Vatican II and has continued uh, till this day, of which we and all Holy Cross throughout the world are beneficiaries of. Um, as you can see, this is the 175th anniversary of Holy Cross education, beginning in St. Croix, and here uh, for us here at Moreau Catholic. Um, but those same ideas, those same philosophies, those same teachings uh, of Basil Moreau that began 175 years 
are alive here at Moreau Catholic as well. We believe in youth, and we believe in taking youth actually where they are. We are a family. We believe in the family spirit of priests, brothers, sisters, and lay people. That is, we're all part in building up God's kingdom. Like at any Holy Cross institution here at Moreau Catholic, uh, it's all about relationships, relationships between faculty and students, alumni, parents, um, all of us part of, great, of creating God's kingdom. Uh, we're all about the heart and mind, bringing students to completeness. And we're especially about progressive curriculum here at Moreau Catholic. Um, I could go on about the uh, examples, our one-to-one -one laptop program, our new STEM program, um, but just like Basil Moreau, we uh, are on the cutting edge of 21st century skills and technology, um, again being part of that uh, Holy Cross legacy of progressive curriculum. And finally, as we celebrate this 175th anniversary of Holy Cross education, it's a reminder to all of us that we all indeed are part of the legacy of Holy Cross and part of continuing the mission and philosophy that Blessed Basil Moreau began 175 years ago. So it's up to not just Basil Moreau or the congregation of Holy Cross or saints uh, or sisters, um, but it's about faculty and staff and alumni and parents uh, trying to build up, in the end, uh, God's kingdom by ultimately uh, bringing our youth to completeness. We indeed are Holy Cross, and we are called to continue Basil Moreau's message for the next 175 years. Will you join us?